On this video, I'm going to show you guys a new platform called the Udly and the power that this platform has to take your communication skills to the next level. The moment I discovered this tool, it has completely changed the way that I teach communication and the way that I also think about my own speaking presentations and conversations. So let's take a look at it. Here's the basic. I, I will upload a video of, of myself. In this case, I uploaded a video of me telling a story about my niece. Right from the start, it'll give me a transcript. So everything that I said will appear for me here. I'll be able to see that. Then I also it also provides me with comments. This is all artificial intelligence and it gives me comments on how did I do. It'll give me suggestions on how I could have rephrased it. This is incredible for language learners. It gives you suggestions on how you can make your content, your wording even better. It also gives you a summary. It'll give you a summary of the main, the important points from your uh, presentation, your speech. I also asked one of my students to take a look at it and give me th their own feedback as a way for them to practice. And then let's take a look at here on the right side. It'll tell me what are the areas that I did well and if there's something I could have done better, it will also appear here. So let's take a look at this filler words. Filler words are these uhs and ums that are very common when we don't know what else to say. We'll put the word uh and um in there and it'll analyze it and it caught one uh in the presentation in the story that I gave. It'll take a look at the top keywords. What are the words that appeared often? You can take a look at that to say, um, am I using the same word too much? And then work on it and improve on it. Of course, because I'm talking about going to a swimming pool, that is the number one word that appears in my story. Weak words. These are words such as right and very and so. One of my crutch words is this one. I say this one way too much. And it's something that I need to work on. I know that I need to work on this. The word so, very, they don't really add anything to the message. And if you overuse them, they become quite annoying. Repetition is if I repeat myself too much. In this case, it's not very useful because I'm telling the story of how afraid my niece was of going into the deep end. And in the moments where I'm using her voice, I'm stuttering. So it's intentional in this case, but in your own presentations, it's something for you to pay attention to to say, oh, am I repeating myself too much? This will all analyze it and tell you exactly where those areas are that you can improve. The delivery, it'll tell me about my eye contact because I was not so confident about the story. I was looking down on my computer screen at different moments and that's why I caught it. Ideally, you want this around 85, 90%. You wanna be focused on the camera and in real life on people's eyes and actually looking at the person in front of you instead of looking down at your notes. It'll take a look at whether you are in centered. Ideally, you want to have about a hand width above your head and it'll, it'll take a look at that. Your pacing, this is very important. If you go too slow, it gets very boring. If you go too fast, it gives people headaches. So you want to go at a conversational tone. Perhaps I could have gone a little bit faster at 147. That's okay. And what you want to see as well, and this is great with the analytics, you want to have a little bit of a roller coaster in your pacing so that it becomes engaging, entertaining for the audience. Because if it's flat, then you're going to lose people. You're going to bore them to death. Pauses are very important. After you said something important, give the audience time to think about it. And it'll analyze it and it'll tell you exactly what are the moments where I paused. After saying something important, I stop. Pausing, very important. It will analyze it and smiling. A lot of you might not think that this is important, but this is very, very important. If you have a positive disposition, your audience will also have a positive disposition towards you. So I highly recommend take a look at Udly. This is a completely free software platform. You don't have to pay anything for it. And this will help you improve your communication skills. It gives you all of the analytics that a human cannot provide in a very in-depth way. So everyone out there, I highly recommend this. And this will take your communication to another level. I can also recommend if you guys are looking to improve the way you communicate ideas, how effective, persuasive you are, 
that you take my business storytelling course. In this course, I'll help you understand what are the stories that create the biggest impact and how can you tell your own stories that will make people feel something and take action. So that's something you can take a look at on my website, thecanadian.com business storytelling. And in connection with Udly, this is it's a game changer. So anybody out there, I highly recommend it. That's it for this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.